The Tokyo 2020 Paralympics Games is finally about to start after a year's delay. And like the Olympics, athletes and staff will have to follow strict social distancing rules. Organizers say that these Paralympics will be held under very different circumstances. Let's go to our correspondent Mayu Yoshida, who joins us in Tokyo. Mayu, so the Olympics opening ceremony a month ago, uh, that was hit by a series of scandals before it even started. Uh, so far, nothing quite as eventful for the Paralympics. Uh, what can we expect at the opening? Well, we do know that the opening ceremony will be held under the concept We Have Wings. Uh, Tokyo will be the first city in the world to host the Paralympics uh, twice. Uh, other than the concept, though, we don't know much about the opening ceremony because organizers decided not to unveil the team, creative team behind the Paralympic ceremonies because they learned their lesson from the Olympics. Now, as you said, remember, on the week of the opening ceremony of the Olympic, the head composer of the opening music and the creative director were forced out as their remarks made decades ago went under fire on the internet. So a lot of secrets kept this time to avoid all the scandals. Uh, now Tokyo 2020 will welcome about 4,400 uh, 4, athletes from around uh, 160 countries and much of the focus this time is also on refugees and Afghanistan athletes. A Paralympic dreams for Afghan athletes were shattered after the takeover by Taliban just a week ago. Uh, but Australia reportedly evacuated more than 50 female athletes, including the Paralympians. So whether they may uh, they might make it in time for Tokyo 2020, we're not sure. But IPC President Andrew Parsons has told Reuters that they won't be coming to this event. And in their absence, the national flag of Afghanistan will appear at the opening ceremony. Now, we do have comments from the refugee team, uh, which which will include six Paralympics. So let's hear uh, what the leader of the refugee team has to say about the Afghan situation. Listen in. And our heart goes out to, to all the people of Afghanistan. And for sure, we are here representing the world of people with, who are refugees. As, as Ibrahim well said, there's 82 million people who are displaced around the world. So all of us have been working very hard to send a message of hope and make sure that this team shows that. And I'm sure these, these athletes are going to give all of what they have during these days to really support uh, all the refugees out there and make them feel hopeful. And the same, people, the same message goes to the people of Afghanistan, for sure. Mayu, these uh, Paralympic athletes, they also have to follow uh, very strict virus control measures. Uh, what's the same uh, and what's different from the Olympic Games? Good question. Well, the Paralympics will follow the same safety guidelines as with the playbook for the Olympics. So athletes and staffs will be tested every day and they're not allowed to travel for personal reasons. They have to wear masks and keep social distancing inside the village. Now, what's different this time uh, that although there is a general ban on spectators, organizers are moving to uh, considering to allow a small number of children in some events and uh, medical experts are having doubts about this decision because cases are rising about among children in Japan who are not uh, vaccinated yet. In fact, in just the four-week window, uh, the health situation and the medical system in Japan have gone from bad to worse. On the opening day of the Olympics on July 23rd, about 4,000 cases were reported across the country. Now, the number is six times higher at around 25,000. Uh, this is putting medical systems on breaking point. Uh, thousands of COVID patients in Tokyo are forced to stay at home because hospitals are too full to accept new patients. And local media reporting that one of them, uh, one of the hospitals declined the organizers' request to keep to, to take emergency cases from the games, uh, putting priority on domestic COVID-19 patients. So uh, this will certainly uh, be the most challenging per, uh, Paralympics for the athletes, for sure. Thank you so much, Mayu Yoshida in Tokyo.